माय डियर व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इलेक्ट्रिकल पेसनेट टुडे आई सेल डिस्कस अबाउट ए सिंपल ओवरव्यू ऑफ ओ पी जी डब्ल्यू ऑप्टिकल फाइबर ग्राउंड वेयर और ऑप्टिकल ग्राउंड वेयर यूज इन ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एंड ऑप्टिकल फाइबर विथ इट्स वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑन डेटा ट्रांसफार एन अपील टू यू माई डियर भिवर्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड प्रेस दि बेल आइकन फॉर गेटिंग फार्दार नोटिफिकेशन्स नाउ प्लीज वाच इन इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर सिसटेम लंग डिस्टेंस थ्री फेज पावर ट्रांसमिशन अफ हाई भोल्टेज रिक्वैर्स लार्ज ट्रांसमिशन टावार्स एंड लंग ट्रांसमिशन लाइन्स दिज ट्रांसमिशन लाइन्स टेक थ्री फेज पावर from generating station to substation and from substation to substations they may be single circuit double circuit and multi circuit towers we have seen that other than three phase conductors there is also a thin wire directly connected at the top of the transmission towers the thin wire is called the ground wire the ground wire is also called shield wire static wire or overhead earth wire ground wire are bare conductors supported at the top of transmission towers and solidly connected to the ground at each tower this ground wire or shield wire gives protection to the current carrying conductors against lightning stroke but ground wires do not carry any power frequency current and they often made up of galvanized iron gi which has good mechanical strength the numbers of ground wire on a tower depends on its design and number of circuit to be carried when the lightning strikes on ground wire the uppermost conductor lightning over voltage becomes grounded to earth through the ground wire and tower parts opgw or optical ground wire is used in place of the traditional ground wire in the transmission lines along with its primary purpose of shielding transmission conductors and insulators from lightning stroke it provide the additional benefit of containing optical fibers which are used for telecommunication purposes what is optical ground wire opgw opgw optical ground wire cable is a special kind of electrical ground wire apart from functions as a replacement of conventional ground wire when its upper surface used to protect the transmission line from lightning OPGW also provide a data communication channel with the optic fiber inside the cable by combining the function of grounding lightning surge and data communication into one cable how is an OPGW made The optical ground wire OPGW cable comprises of optical fiber placed inside a central aluminum tube or stainless steel tube surrounded by layers of aluminum cladded steel wires and stainless or double wires 
the robust construction ensures the cable's durability and ability to withstand harsh environmental conditions. The integration of optical fibers within cable structure enables utilities to establish reliable communication networks across their transmission lines while simultaneously ensuring the protection of transmission lines from lightning stroke. What is an optical fiber? Optical fibers are the filaments of glassy or polymeric materials made in such a way so as to be able to conduct light inside them. Optical fibers are classified as dielectric waveguides. The optical fiber can simply be thought as pipe through which light flows. During discussion about OPGW, working of optical fiber and its data transmission process should be discussed, but the subject is not so easy to define. A simple overview of the subject is reflected here to give a bird's eye view to the viewers. A dielectric waveguide is a system made of materials with different refractive index. In their core and cladding region that guides light or other waves using the principle of total internal reflection of light, Snell's law. Total internal reflection takes place at the interface between the high index core and lower index cladding. Snell's law applied to these different refractive indices yields the result that no transmission in cladding is possible and hence the light wave reflects back into the core. Hence the light traveling in an optical fiber is confirmed to the core. As a result, light can travel large distances through an optical fiber with little loss. So we should know what is total internal reflection. A ray of light when passes from a medium of high density to that of low density, light ray will be refracted at the junction separating the two medium. Since it passes from a medium of a higher refractive index to that having a lower refractive index, the refracted light ray bends away from the normal. At a specific angle of incidence, the incident ray of light is refracted in such a way that it passes along the surface between the two medium. This particular angle of incidence is called the critical angle. Here the angle of refraction is 90 degree. When the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle, the incident ray is reflected back to the denser medium. We call this phenomenon total internal reflection. Optical fibers consist of a core cladding and protective outer layer buffer coating. 
data is transmitted as pulses of light through the core which is made of glass or plastic with a high optical clarity this light pulses bounces off the walls of the fiber the cladding enable the data to travel through the fiber without significant loss the light signals are then converted back into electrical data at the receiving end allowing the information to be processed by computers and other systems light is guided through the wave guides by reflecting internally between core and cladding data transfer by optical fiber data transfer by optical fiber also known as fiber optic communication involves transmitting data as pulse of light through a thin glass fiber where the light signals are rapidly turned on and off to represent digital data ones and zeros allowing for high speed data transmission over long distances due to the principle of total internal reflection within the fiber data is encoded as pulses of light which are generated by laser or light emitting diode led at the transmission end by the transmission device the light signal travels through the fiber core by continuously bouncing off the cladding layer preventing signal loss at the receiving end a photodiode converts the light pulse back into electrical signals that can be interpreted by the receiving device optical fiber can carry large amounts of data simultaneously due to their high bandwidth capabilities what are the advantage of opgw protection of overhead power lines from lighting stroke and creation of capillary infrastructure network for data transmission in a single cable no need to acquire land to lay down the fiber optics cable since power transmission company already has the right of way row for its towers and groundwork no digging trenching filling etc is required as the cable is laid high in the air and not underground if the transmission line already has a functioning ground conductor then opgw can be stringed in live condition without the need of shutdowns once installed the transmission utility can lease the spare dark fibers to third parties to earn additional revenue thank you for watching this video